All right, so um, I don't know if y'all was taking notes. It was going to be at the end of the show, we was going to do questions. Will anybody have questions? Do anybody have questions? Anybody, do you have a question for someone? Oh, a little man put his hands up. Well, so I, I think the show is, is going to go, probably probably don't get to the questions, and that's because we had a few of our speakers leave. So we're probably not going to go there. But we do have one more speaker left, okay? Now, let me tell you about this guy right here. So, when I first came to Fall Story, when I seen this brother right here, he just defined success to me. Ever since I've known him, he, he defined success. He carried his way like success. He spoke with success. When you see him, you, you know, you just want to know his story. I didn't know his whole story, but I knew one thing. He always been successful since, I, since I've known him. And I'm going to let him tell me his story himself. Y'all give it for Fall Story as all, well, Mr. Donnie Hampton. Okay, I know that I'm the only thing standing between you and the door. <laughs> so I won't, I won't speak long. Uh, my name is Donald Hampton Jr. Everybody calls me Donnie. And I'm from Pastoria, Ohio. And so I've heard people say, you can't be successful if you go to Pastoria High School. Well, I graduated from Pastoria High School in 19... No, no, no. <laughs> 1984. I graduated from Pastoria High School. You were born in 84, right? I graduated from Pastoria High School in 1984. And there have been plenty of people, both before me and after me, that have been successful graduating from Fostoria High School. Believe that. I live in Fostoria today because I want to. Home is where the heart is. So I hear people say things like, I can't wait to get out of Fostoria. Let me tell you something. There's somebody that woke up in Atlanta, Georgia today that said, I can't wait to get the hell out of Atlanta. <laughs> Believe that. It's not where you are. It's what you're doing where you're at. Trust and believe that. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Vince Williams for arranging this great event. Give a hand to Vince. We've had some fantastic speakers today. And believe me, I, I was entertained and enchanted by all of them. Mahatma Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. We are here today because somebody, or in most cases, somebody's cared. We begin life dependent upon others. Tasks classified as mundane, actions characterized as reflex, and practices branded as habits are in fact behaviors learned when we were predominantly dependent upon others. Throughout life, we continue to transition from dependency to inner dependency. Dependence is defined as a state of relying on or being controlled by someone or something else. While inner dependence, on the other hand, is the dependence on two or more people or things on each other. If you get nothing else from my talk today, leave with this. Life is a team sport. Anyone who attempts to tell you otherwise, that they did it all on their own, they're lying to you. The Beatles penned a song over 50 years ago entitled with a little help from my friends. In life, you'll get by, grow and prosper with a little help from your friends. Now, you'll also get nigh on stagnation, 
and misery with a lot of backbiting, backstabbing, lying, deceit, two-faced, insincere, spurious, wicked, specious, immoral, unfair, unjust, heinous, and just outright trifling assistance from foes as well. You don't and you won't like it, but it's all a vital part of our maturity. Use that. Support both positive and negative as fuel for your growth. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. When I get the opportunity to talk with young people, I always ask them, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to see if they have vision, a perspective of the art of the possible. Vision is defined as the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination and wisdom. Think about that. Vision is dreams in action. Vision without action is dreaming. Let me say that one more time. Vision without action is dreaming. And action without vision is a waste of time. You must combine vision with action to make a positive difference day to day in life. In your daily pursuit of your vision, I want you to ask yourself, what action did I take today that pushed me one step closer to my vision? Now, let's not confuse action with activity. Okay. Let's say that one more time. Let's not confuse action with activity. Activity is busy work when you're busy doing something. However, that task will never produce an outcome in or by itself. Action, on the other hand, is an act taken that will produce a result. Take action, steps designed to produce desired results in securing your future. Be leaders. My grandfather, my grandpa Hampton used to say, you know, be a leader. Don't gallop with the gang. Be the bell cow. Don't be concerned with vogues, fads, or trends. Popularity has slain more prophets of God than persecution ever did. Let me say that again. Popularity has slain more prophets of God than persecution ever did. Be mindful of that. Education is the most powerful tool you can use to change your life. Trust and believe that. I remember growing up, people would tease me. They'd call me the professor. They'd ask me questions like, what's the square root of 295,864? And then they'd start laughing. How did intelligence become synonymous with square? And ignorance, the measuring stick for cool. Being undereducated, unable to conjugate verbs and speak in complete sentences, or being incapable of completing easy math problems or simple algebraic equations is not the definition of cool, hip, trendy, in vogue, or with it. In fact, it's a sad state of affairs that I see all too often in very bad, especially for people of color. Get in those school books. Let me say that again. Get in those school books. Learn all you can and ride education as a vehicle to success. You can do it. 
No excuses. I'll leave you with this. In life, there are only two things. Results and anything short of the expected results. Well, those are called excuses. And excuses are monuments of nothingness. They build bridges to nowhere. Those that utilize these tools of incompetence seldom become anything but nothing at all. You guys heard that once before tonight, right? Focus. Vision. Action. Results. You can and will be successful if you keep those things front of mind. You've heard from a number of successful and inspiring people today. I hope they've given you confidence, motivation, energy, and enthusiasm, and perspective on the art of the possible in your life. We will all be watching. Go out and do great things for yourselves and others. And remember, life is a team sport. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. Give it up for Mr. Hampton one more time. I think that's amazing that we heard some of the same things from different speakers. That shows you, you know, how successful people think. When you get multiple people up on the stage and don't nobody know what they're going to say, and then they say some of the same things, that lets you know, you know, we all can be successful if we think the right way. Uh, I'm not going to hold y'all up too much. Um, I'd like to thank y'all for coming out tonight. I think tonight was amazing. Uh, can y'all give a round of applause for all the speakers one more time? Uh, they did this event for free. They, they could have been anywhere in the world. They decided to be here with y'all to give y'all some jewels. So I hope y'all really appreciate that. Um, again, I want to thank y'all for coming. I want to thank Gary for letting us use this venue. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Um, what I got from tonight is positive thinking. Think positive. And something I always like to tell my kids and anybody that looks up to me for any information, consistent progress is the key. Consistency, okay? Be consistent and going in the right direction, all right? Other than that, anybody have any questions at all? If not, then truth for the, truth for the youth is dismissed. Thank y'all for coming up.